Hey guys, this is Magic One, and this is part 18 of the Red Dead Undead Nightmare walkthrough. So, we just got into Mexico, and now we're gonna head to Las Hermanas, or something like that. Yeah, Las Hermanas, or something like that. So, yep, early in this video, we find a mythical creature. Hmm and since it decided to pop up down there while I was going up this road I couldn't do anything about it so I, well, I just go back down if you do miss it um, that's the only thing I hate about the horses is that they stop when you're about to go off a cliff it's very useful sometimes like when you're going on a twisty road but the blue area went away so but I still found the horse anyway so just pull out your lasso and try and get him anyway so that's him right there I keep on missing with my lasso. So just just keep on chasing it even if the blue marker is gone because you can still get him and it'll still count towards the challenges. So here is the breaking sequence of the Horse of the Apocalypse. And there's a cougar in the background which is kind of scary. So this guy is exactly like war. Just keep yourself centered and try not to fall off. So, <laughs> that's pretty much all you gotta do. Just try to not fall off. And we're almost done here, I believe. So, yep. This guy actually took a little while. War, if you saw the video with war in it, didn't take very long. Oh, here we go. So, this is Four Horses of the Apocalypse, rank 2. And this horse is Famine. He has unlimited stamina, but pretty much all of the... Uh, horses of the Apocalypse have unlimited stamina. So that's two out of four. <laughs> See, it's up in the corner. Famine has unlimited stamina. So, yep, you can travel really vast distances faster, apparently, with this horse than other horses. So, because if you look at the thing, his, or the uh, stamina mar uh, marker, his stamina isn't going down at all. So, yep. And I just left Chupa Rosa there. You guys can save it if you want to, but I, I messed up. I accidentally put the uh, waypoint to Chupa Rosa instead of Las Hermanas. So, yeah, if you do, do if you do that, then just uh, go across this quick field here, and then you'll find the road eventually. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of sorry about the length of this video, since there's a lot of uh, action and at the end of this so cuz you have to save the and I accidentally skipped a uh, cutscene where they give you a mission so but it it doesn't really matter so it's not like one of those important uh important cutscenes like the last one or the first one or something like that so yes i'm here to confirm that I will be doing a uh, the Da Vinci Disappearance Assassin's Creed Brotherhood add-on walkthrough. So check for look for that on my personal channel A21NY around March 8th, which is when the add-on comes out and when I will hopefully download it. So it comes out on Tuesday, or may come out, it may come out after this video has been posted. So, <laughs> which would be bad, <laughs> but, yeah, I will put it in the description of the next video that goes up that is closest to, uh, March 8th, so that it may be this one or maybe uh, an earlier one. <laughs> so, yep, and then I think we're, yep, there, there it is, we're almost there. It's like a little monastery place. It's like a big church, fortress church. There it is, see? It's on fire, like all the other towns here. <laughs> and in Mexico, it really is worse. So you're, you're gonna see in a little while why it is worse. <laughs> so yeah, just head over to the mission and then just uh, save this lady. Or you do it in the cutscene, I think, so. And then she runs for cover. So you have to go save the nuns and lots 
Hermanas. And here is the uh, survive. Here, here's how you save this town. And believe me, this is actually the hardest town to save in the entire game. Or it's the longest one, so. And there's why. Uh, I, I'm not gonna count them right now, but there's like a full bar of circles up there. That's why it takes forever to uh, finish this one. So this is why I really recommend uh, giving those people ammo. And be careful around there. Try not to run. <laughs> I think you can just jump between them. But I accidentally kept on running for some reason. I wasn't even pressing A, and it still made me run, which is retarded. Uh, so yeah, if you do fall down, just try and find another way up there. So just do your Assassin's Creed style climbing right there, and watch out for that hole. I fell in there like a couple times. Yeah, it's kind of stupid, but um, feel free to kill zombies whenever you see them. There's not very many here actually so you have no like well, actually there's like a whole other part of the monastery and so just the front part there's like two side parts so i think that's where all the zombies were and i didn't have rifle ammo i don't think i had any rifle ammo at all so that's one of the reasons why you have to go get the ammo caches so that you can help give the survivors ammo or give ammo to yourself whichever you feel necessary so I recommend giving ammo to them since you get a, uh, a circle filled. So I think that's more useful than being able to kill more zombies. So. There we go. One circle has been completed. So since that guy beat me down, I decided to kill him. I missed the shot, but I still managed to get the uh, execution kill. And apparently that wall or the beam was in my way. So. And I got Undead Hunter rank 2. I got like a bunch of ammo for it. So, I gave this chick over here some ammo, and then I decided to get, go and get those people that were up on that tower some ammo, and I didn't fall in there. I almost did, though. So, I decided to give that, that guy some ammo, and then I think I ran out of rifle ammo after that, so, yeah. I decided to quickly kill this guy could kill a couple of these zombies so I can fill up another one of those circles. And that one really got shot like they all bombarded him with bullets and that was a really stupid move. Don't jump. The screen will turn really red and then you won't be able to see nothing. See anything, so. Yeah. And then that also means that you're taking tons of damage, so don't do that. So there's another ammo chest inside of this room over here. And unfortunately, I found some zombies in this room, so I found a fat one after opening up the chest to apparently pause them and stuff. So I found a fat guy, fat lady, and some other one decided to come through. Yeah, one of the little fast buggers, the uh, crawlers. I don't know what they're actually called. <laughs> um, yeah, so just kill that one as quickly as you can. If there is anything, I think most of the stuff is still random, like... Uh, all games are pretty much random for a playthrough. So I think that nothing is absolutely the same. So I didn't want to go through another uh, falling. I didn't want to fall down in that tower. So, but instead I got caught in fire. So I wanted to go give that guy up on top of that uh, beam. Some, so or on top of that thing right there, some ammo. But I couldn't figure out how to get up there. So, so I ran in here, and then. So don't bother it unless you can actually find a way in there. Then I got rushed by a couple of nun zombies, so don't I don't support killing nuns, but uh but uh apparently this game d does or not really. Don't quote me on that. Uh it's pretty much just because it's a monastery, so a church, so that's why I have to kill nun zombies. Which I don't really like doing. I think the way up to that guy is really complicated. I think you just have to get up on the uh, the roof and then jump down onto him. But I'm not gonna bother. That's retarded. Don't work, work so hard to get up. this guy some ammo. 
And of course the execution move saves me again. Another fatso. I missed. Wow. Um, also take into consideration the amount of movement their heads can get while you're aiming at them in dead eye. So yeah. And this thing's almost over. We almost saved this town. The longest town in the game. <laughs> so yep. I think I do end up giving one more person ammo on that tower. So yeah. Um you don't really have to give any of these people ammo. But it was my personal preference since they're so stinking since there's like so much see I see that that's what I mean I, don't, I didn't want to fall off but I did anyway so, but um there's just so many circles on there that it would be much more a lot more useful if you did just give the survivors ammo be a lot quicker and a lot safer in my opinion so I tried to figure out but I got the chest first of course but um, I saw a way up there and go on those boxes up there <laughs> But yeah, just do some Assassin's Creed style. Climbing and jumping. So there's a guy right there covering the entrances. So yeah, you can just give that guy some ammo. I'm not even sure why they need ammo. They're still shooting. And I fell down. Because <laughs> I suck at this game. And I'm probably going to change outfits in the next video. I don't like the US Army thing. So I'm in Mexico. I'm not from America. So I decided to give the two guys up here some ammo, and that fills out the rest of the circles. Or no, I, did, I only gave that one guy ammo. I tried to kill another zombie. Since it would be kind of a waste of ammo if I did just give that guy ammo, since uh, I only need to kill one zombie to fill in that circle. So yeah. So I just jump down and kill him kill one of them but in the end you do have to kill them all so gotta eliminate the last of the undead in the town to save it and uh, just so you get guys are warned um, I think zombies can fall through the walls or something because one of them did that on my other playthrough and um, just um, look for a crack in the floor and just chuck a fireball down it. So. That's pretty much the only way to kill him. So. Yeah. Well, here's the last zombie. And uh, go check out my personal channel. And please comment, like, and subscribe.